So this is about how we use the electromagnetic spectrum to investigate the universe. Now, uh, objects in the universe all seem to give off lots of different types of electromagnetic radiation. And for a long time, all we could detect was visible light. And we did that first using our eyes, and then a telescope detecting visible light. Then, with the um, invention of photography, we could take photographs uh, using that telescope to take images of the stars and the galaxies. Um, and then we also use things called spectrometers, which can analyse the wavelengths of that light as they reach Earth. Um, but then we also developed other types of detection devices to look up the other parts of the electromagnetic spectrum. So, X-rays, gamma rays, UV, uh, microwaves, radio waves and infrared, we can now all detect um, all that radiation which is being emitted by stars we can detect on Earth. So, in about 1990, um, scientists sent a telescope out of the Earth's atmosphere and into space. Now, why did they do that? Why was that better than having it on Earth? Well, there are two main reasons you need to know about. Um, the first is this. Um, within the Earth's atmosphere, there are clouds and dust. And the problem is that when the light from galaxies, when any kind of electromagnetic radiation comes, through the Earth's atmosphere, it gets refracted and reflected. So those telescopes on Earth are getting a blurred image. Now, my space telescope is outside of the atmosphere, so the image it gets from the galaxies and the stars, um, billions of light years away, is pinpoint clear in comparison to on Earth. So the image there is much better because there's no refraction and no reflection from the clouds. The second reason is that um, certain wavelengths of electromagnetic radiation get absorbed by the Earth's atmosphere so they can't even get down to the surface of the Earth. That's not a problem if I've got a space telescope outside of the atmosphere.